For what? You still have a chance. Which end in one of the teams, but this is a job for 47. Why did you do this? Do not turn I turn it to you. Take the girl and run. Yes. Terminus Hotel, room 899. So I asked my bird the question, Holmes, and the answer came back in the shape of a name. Blake Dexter. An arms industry VIP who seems to have taken a special interest in your girl. Dexter occupies the Terminus's top floor, and his thug has had the place sealed off tight. Still, a man of your skills and resources should be able to find several access points. Good luck, Holmes. Hello, and welcome, finally, to part three of my Let's Plat of Hitman Absolution. That's right, it's not a typo in the title, it's a Let's Plat, because we're going for the Platinum Trophy. In this episode, as you can see on screen, we're going to be tackling the Terminus Hotel level of this game. So, first things first, we're going to instantly make a start on achieving the Chameleon Challenge, as well as a couple of others by hitting that car. Now, while we wait for a guard to come out, just want to apologize uh, for it having been a while, a long time since the last Hitman video, and quite a while since I've uploaded with any sort of regularity whatsoever. I explained in yesterday's video, uh, which is a GTA one, if you're interested in that series, you haven't seen it yet, then uh, go give it a watch. But yeah, I explained in the video that I've just had some personal stuff going on, and uh, not really been in a position to Record, edit, upload regularly, so I had a bit of a hiatus, but I'm back. And this guy must be thrilled about that, my first victim. Although he should be happy, because I've just subdued him, not killed him. Now, obviously we've taken his clothes, which is one of the three outfits needed for the Chameleon Challenge. And as you just saw, I looked both ways before I crossed the roads, kids. Because you're more likely to be run over when you're dragging an unconscious, naked body. Because you're going to be moving slower, so be aware of that. Now, we're going to hide his body for a couple of reasons. First one, we don't want an unconscious naked body being found and them knowing I'm dressed as a guard. The second reason is, it's raining. And there you go, he's got a bit of uh, shelter now. So we're just being nice to him, really. We didn't kill him, and we've sheltered him. So you can't say fairer than that. Now, if we head back over here, he's dropped his gun. And as you can see on screen, it says, swap Mustang Snub. With the one ZN model 60. Because we don't have our silver ballers. If you've got a good enough memory to remember back to um, part two, we gave the silver ballers to Birdie as payment for this information, which has led us to this level. So we've picked up that other revolver. We swapped our revolver for the other revolver, just for the sake of completing our collection. As soon as that guard turns around, that was really quick. You just have to wait for this guard that's walking away to turn around. And then you can head around here safely without him seeing through your disguise. Now we're going to follow Captain Ponytail with his trendy yellow wellies. Oh yeah, into this room. And just while we're here, we grab the fire extinguisher outside, I'm sure you saw, just in the main lobby. Now we're going to grab the eye and the statue bust, uh, the bottle over here. And these are all just so that we've collected all the items available in a level. Here's the vase. Pick that up. And also there's a... M5 90 12 gauge shotgun, which is nice. And then we're going to wait once again for that same guard to move. There he goes, wait for him to get out of sight. And now we can complete one half of the evidence collector challenge. There are two pieces of evidence on this level. We've just got one already, so that's nice. And it's much easier in this outfit, which is why I've just done it. 
now after getting the outfit instead of as a separate part of the walkthrough. Because we'll try and make this as easy as possible to get all the challenges and collect all the items, remember, on these walkthroughs. If it's been a while, if this is your first Hitman video, then yeah, that's what we do. And obviously, we play on Purist. Now, the way up to the upper levels is there, the lift. However, there's a lot of guards there who are likely to see through my disguise. So instead, we're going to find another way in. And that involves climbing down this ladder. Or sliding down the ladder, the surviving style. There we go. Arriving into the sewers in style. Walk through this sewage pipe. And then there's a ledge here so we can climb up. And we are basically in the cellar now of the hotel. So we're going to grab that wrench for our collection. And then we're going to hide around this corner. I'm actually going to throw the wrench. Wow, that was a bounce, wasn't it? Good grief. And um, Because there's a guard around the corner. That's why we're throwing the wrench. And uh, he's going to come and have a look. And then we're going to be able to sneak past him without him seeing through our disguise. So, so there he goes. Don't know quite how he doesn't see us, but he doesn't. And now that we're here, we have... Another disguise, and it's the electrician disguise. Now, unfortunately, it happens to be on this gentleman. So, just going to subdue him as well. And then we're going to drag him over here. Chuck his body in that bin. Where is he? Oh, there's just a head. What's going on? Never mind. Um, and then we're going to head into this room and pick up the screwdriver. Now... As well as another outfit towards the chameleon challenge, this outfit, along with this screwdriver, gives us another well two other challenges, which are called the Electrician Part 1 and the Electrician Part 2. For the Electrician Part 1, all we have to do is kill a guard dressed as the electrician with a screwdriver without being seen. So we're going to follow him until he goes out here on his own. Because obviously the best way of not being seen is to make sure the guy is completely alone. And stab him in the neck with a screwdriver. But, 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 we're going to have to rewind a little bit. And the reason for that is because the electrician part two is a little bit different from part one. Uh, the disguise is the same, so we're going to get changed into that. Um, and the weapon is the same, so we're going to go pick up that screwdriver again. However, there's a couple of differences. And through the magic of video editing, he's alive again. Look at that. Look at that. So, uh, the first difference, as we get our screwdriver back out, is uh, that instead of stabbing someone with the screwdriver, we're now going to be using it as a projectile weapon. So we're going to throw it at our target. So, let's follow him around the corner, getting a bit of deja vu here. But this time, we'll hang back a little bit and throw it at him and kill him like that. Then we're going to take our screwdriver back because you actually have to kill five guards like that without being detected. So now we shall head... Ooh, look at that. A nice trophy. It's all in the wrist, which is obviously for throwing some sharp objects over the, at someone and killing them with it. But yeah, we're going to head back up here, and now we're going to find four more guards to take out using the screwdriver without being seen. So, back to this car. Give it another smack. Oh, that was a loud beep in my ear. My headphones on. Never mind. Um, so yeah, now we just wait for another guard to come out, and it's basically like what we did to get the Hope Goon outfit before, except this time, instead of subduing him, we will be killing him. Like that. There we go. Waiting for the door to shut, because sometimes people will see you when the door's open, but not when the glass door is shut, apparently. Now, we're not going to take his disguise, but we are going to drag him away, just in case anyone spots the body, because things like that, will mess up people's roots and stuff. So if you get to know where people go on this level, you want to be as subtle as possible for as long as possible on this challenge. Otherwise, people end up in different places and not coming to where you want them to and stuff like that. Oh, he'll enjoy that. The one that's only unconscious. He'll wake up with his dead mate on his lap. Fantastic. I forgot about him. Anyway, 
So that's two out of five. Now we're going to head inside. And round this corner here. And then there is our next target, this gentleman out here. However, instead of just killing him right now like this, we're going to wait a second. Because if we kill him at this end of the yard that he's in, uh, people hear him fall. So people will hear his body hit the floor. Whereas if I do it here, no one does. Which is lovely. And just while we're here, actually, I'm just going to pick up a brick. And put it back down. And the reason for that is just for our collection. Um, you know, so we can say we've picked up every item and completed every challenge on this level. Which is what we always do. Anyway, as part of the course, really. On this channel, we always try and complete the levels really methodically. Now, that's another one down. And I've hidden him just for good practice, just in case anyone goes out there. I don't think they do. But now we're going to head into the restroom and pick up the plunger. And dropping the screwdriver to pick the plunger up made a noise. So that's interesting. Maybe, just maybe, someone's going to come and check that out. And maybe, just maybe, it might be... A guard. And he's taking his sweet time. There he is. Okay, he's supposed to walk through. As I said, a guard. That would have been lovely, but that was never going to work perfectly. Anyway, there's number four. And you knocked the plunger over. Did you hear it? Um, I can't get the, uh, the screwdriver. Oh, there, oh, hang on. No, I don't want to do that. So put that down. Pick up the screwdriver. Right, because we need that for one more kill. So let's just uh, hide his body. I mean, obviously someone's going to see the big pile of blood in the toilet stall, but at least they won't find a body. So it's not quite as bad. It's still pretty, pretty bad, let's be honest, but it's not quite as bad. Um, put the screwdriver away while we walk around. And then we just have to find one more guard. And for this, we're going to go outside, and we're going to go the way we've not been yet, down this side of the building. Now, there's an electrician here who would see through my disguise, if it weren't for the fact that he turns his back and walks away as we get close. And the guy he's talking to is our target. Now, obviously, he's in the way at the moment, the electrician. So is this guard here. And so is, if you can see him, that guard in the distance. They can all see what's going on. And there's a woman, lovely lady from inside the hotel, leaning out and shouting abuse. But other than that, the coast is totally clear. So anyway, electrician's walked away. That guard at the end is walking away. This guard here is walking away. She just needs to go away. Which she has. So now we line up our shot. And that's five. And now we just walk away. And yeah, they're going to find a body now. But that's okay. I can cope with that. So... The Chameleon Challenge, you've heard me mention it a couple of times. If you've not, never played this game, you're not sure what I'm on about, uh, is for acquiring all the available disguises on a level. So we're just going to go ahead and grab the last disguise. There are three. Don't worry, that's not someone seeing me doing anything. That's just someone finding their body. Um, probably the last one I killed. They've only just noticed him. Um, but yeah, it's uh, the janitor disguise is the third and final disguise available on this level. And there's a nice and easy way of getting one of these without um, having to hurt anyone else. Since we've uh, subdued two people for these two disguises, we'll play nice and just, uh, just pick up a spare janitor outfit instead of knocking someone out for it. So, you have a quick peek through here. Now, if you haven't been killing people and there's no bodies for people to find, you want to watch out here because there's a janitor that walks around. And obviously, you climbing out of a vent would be suspicious behaviour. However, I think when someone finds a body, his route changes. And he should just be standing. There. There we go. So, we can walk through quite freely and pick up this disguise from next to the... That looks like garlic bread with cheese and mushrooms, which is a good shout, whoever ordered that. Well done. Anyway, now that we have completed the Chameleon Challenge, there is an extra challenge we can complete while we've got this outfit on, which is called Hall Pass. And that is basically for getting through the entire level dressed as the janitor without being spotted. So we've called the lift. Oh, look, a screwdriver. <laughs> That's... Uh, I want it there's one there after what we've just been doing. 
Anyway, that noisy lift just came down and now we can enter it and go up. And we're going to hear from Birdie, he's going to fill us in on the next bit of the mission. So we'll see what he has to say. Nice work, 47. You sure are a resourceful son of a bitch. Ooh, you're approaching the lion's den now. Thugs you encountered are gonna have the eighth floor completely under lockdown. Now Blake Dexter, he enjoys his privacy. And sneaking into 899 is not gonna be an easy task. And to make matters worse, this is protected by a seriously nasty bodyguard who will not, I repeat, not take kindly to trespassers. So you should probably look to get off at a lower floor and look for a more subtle entry point. But what am I saying? A pro like you, you probably got the whole thing figured out, don't you? Alright, go get him. So, here we are. On the seventh floor, and we need to get to the eighth floor, but the lift or elevator doesn't go up that high. We can hide because we're in the janitor outfit here and mop the floor, which is lovely, lovely little bit of detail. But we want to go in here and pick up a couple of things. There's a measuring tape, which is a pretty exclusive item to this level. There's also a knife in this room, so that's nice. The measuring tape actually replaces your fiber wire, if you notice. I've dropped my fiber wire. It's interesting, it works in the same way basically as a strangulation weapon. Now, where do we want to go next? We want to head into this staff only room here because we may as well, while we're getting the hall pass challenge, also get a couple more. So we're going to pick up that movie reel. Move, move, thank you. And um, we're going to take that upstairs with us because that will help us achieve another challenge, complete another challenge. We haven't had a radio yet on this level, so I'll pick it up. But then I'm going to put it down and switch it on. Just so it causes the distraction. And we're going to complete the first of two... Like... Bits of the challenge, I couldn't think of a good word for it there. Um, and this is for the inside job challenge. And it's basically, once you're up on the upper floor, for going outside the hotel like this and using ledges and whatnot to... Uh, to sneak around. So that's part one of two of that. Nice and easy. You just have to get that guard out the way of the window. And then you can head up the stairs. Now, we shouldn't be up here even dressed as a janitor. So we're going to sneak around so we don't get any nasty surprises. <laughs> like that. Like that bear. Right there. And then we've got the wrench. And what we're going to do now is we're going to... Wait for him to move there. Wait for him to move enough where he won't see us. Climb over. Walk over here and climb through this window. Lovely, look at that. Now, this is part two of the inside job challenge. Alright, so you have to shimmy across here. Look how far down it is. Look at that. Dizzying. Anyway, I'm going to jump across here. And then climb up to here. And then someone's going to come over and check out the window. And I'm just going to be nice. I'm going to stand here and I'm going to wait for him to go away. Thank you, sir. It's very good of you, sir. And then we're going to climb through. And there's our destination, Route 899. So we pick the lock. In your own time. Man, there we go, Mr. 47. Pick the lock, and we're in. This is room 899. That's a trophy in the top corner. I'm trying to look at it with my camera, what we're doing. Um, so that's the trophy for completing this level, basically. And now all we have to do is go through this vent here to complete the level. However, we won't be climbing through that vent just yet because there are still a few more challenges to complete on this level. And the first one that we'll be tackling is called the housekeeping challenge, which is basically for killing 10 guards and disposing of the bodies without being seen. So, <laughs> here's number one, right on cue. 
There you go, lad. You fall down there. You walk past me. It's going to get my measuring tape out. How big's your neck? Oh, too big, it would seem, unfortunately. So that's too dead. We're just going to stick him in this bin. Hey, look at the glare off my shirt. That is a bright shirt. I must be using Daz on my janitor disguise. Uh, we're just going to pick up this gasoline can because we haven't got one of those yet and we don't really need the knife. And then we're going to nip through here. And into this room and pick up the scissors and listen to these two argue about how to use no, the projector. No, I know how to turn it on. I know how it's done. Just want to really? make sure that you oh, know. Okay, let's say I forgot, okay? Why, why don't you show me <laughs> how to turn the projector Yeah, on? you know, I would. I would if I could, but, uh, you know, i got to go guard the stairs, so... Try not to fall on your ass. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? I, uh, I said, you're a badass. Badass. You, you are. So, now that he's been left on his own, let's go stick these newly acquired scissors into his neck. Lovely. Now, if you remember, downstairs on the seventh floor, we picked up a movie reel. This is where you put it. This gets you to challenge an evening in paradise and also distracts a large percentage of the guards on this level. Now, let us just come and measure this gentleman's neck as well, because he clearly needs a tie. Look, he's not wearing one. There you go. I reckon it's now about an 8-inch neck. So let's just uh, dump his body in here. Because remember, we have to hide the bodies. We have to disguise... Not disguise. Dis What's the word? Dispose of. That's the word I was looking for. The bodies. So there's four down and three hidden. Going to put this one in the same cupboard because they can then kiss and make up. For their little tiff they had before. There we go. They look like good friends now. And then we're going to walk out here. And then we're going to climb back through that window. Uh, where we went just a few minutes ago in the video. So I'll fast forward this bit and I'll see you on the other side. So here we are. And here comes that fine gentleman again. We shall call him number five. And the reason... Is that he's the fifth to die and to be disposed of. Disposed. You see, I can say that word. I can bring it to mind now. Now, I'm not going to climb through that window. I'm actually going to head back to that window. Oh, look, you can see him down there. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I'm going to head back to that window. Uh, so, once again, I'll speed it up. I'll see you there. So, now we need our sixth target. And to find him, we're going to go around here. Take over here and just wait for him to turn around, which means we're going to need to have a little patience. Okay, that's quite enough of that. Don't want a copyright strike on my channel. And also, he was on the move, so we better keep up with him. Now, we're going to have to be pretty clever about what we do with his body here. I'm going to take him out here. There is a cupboard to hide him in there. But there's also a guard wandering around who will sometimes see you hiding his body in there. Trust me, I've done it myself. So, just to be double safe, just going to drag him right around here and chuck him out of this window. And that is six dead and six disposed of. Terrific. Now, I'm going to keep creeping. I don't really need to at this point, but good practice and all that. We're going to head into this room. As soon as that guard moves, we're going to kind of follow his route across the room and out of that window. So let's wait for him to move. And that's his line of sight gone, so let's go. And if we're fast about it, we get through without any suspicion, which is fantastic. Jump past this window and move over and find number seven. Goodbye. Now, number eight... Is pretty tricky. So we're going to have to wait for him to move and then climb through as soon as he starts to go past the window. We've got to be really quick on that button. There he goes. Go, 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 go. We're not going to get him. We're not going to get him. We got him. Yes. That's really sketchy because he starts to turn around and you want to gather him. You don't want to throw something at him because I know what you're thinking. You could shoot him or you could throw scissors at him or something. But 
If you do that, you leave a blood splat on the floor, and that draws attention and ruins the challenge, would you believe? You're not allowed to even get blood seen. Oh, there's another guy. So let's have him. Number nine. Not going to dispose of his body straight away, though. And the reason for that will become clear shortly. But for now, let's just put him here. Let's just quickly... No, not that. Grab that evidence. There we go. Lovely. And then take cover because someone's about to come in. Where is he? I've got a gun. I picked up a gun first, apparently, then when I was trying to get that evidence. So yeah, that was the second part of the evidence collector, in case you didn't suss that. So we now have that challenge. We've completed that challenge. And here is number 10. There we go. Right. And no one suspects a thing. 10 guards are dead. We just have to safely dispose of these last two bodies now. So... Should be safe, fingers crossed. Usually is. So just dragging out, there's a guy there, if you can see him through that doorway. But he doesn't look this way, he's too busy watching that movie we put on. So that, that and even in Paradise Challenge, has proved really useful, hasn't it? So that's one out of two, so that's nine out of ten. We've just got to just get rid of this guy. And then, oh, that drag didn't work. And then we have got the housekeeping challenge, which is fantastic. That is a good day. So let's drag him, let's try not to get caught. Let's throw him out of the window. Oh, there we go, didn't quite time that right, never mind. And then, we're pretty much done, except for two more challenges. And there's one more item to collect to make sure we have the complete collection from this level. Uh, so the challenges are the suit only challenge for obviously not changing out of Agent 47's trademark suit and the don't disturb challenge for not being seen and for not touching anyone so we can't subdue anyone, we can't knock anyone out, we can't kill anyone and we can't be seen, we just have to be one with the shadows as it were. So I'm not going to be doing anything that you haven't seen before on this particular run through it's just going to be like i'm not going to go in anywhere that i haven't shown you it's just going to be a slightly different approach because obviously i'm going to be super subtle now and making my way through in my suit without touching anyone so with that in mind obviously there's not much point in me commentating the whole way through what i'm doing because you've already seen it so instead i'm just going to talk to you about a couple of things that are, are going on with me and i'm going to start with something that i think is probably the most important by far um which is something i'm doing in real life which is Brave the Shave. Now, if you've not heard of Brave the Shave, it's something that's going on through August where anyone that wants to is signing up to shave their head. And it's in support of Matt Millen Cancer Support. And uh, and it's obviously a great cause to be raising some money for. Um, so, if you want to sponsor me for Brave the Shave, then that would be fantastic. Now, in terms of Brave the Shave, I already shave my head. That's that's how I have my hair. It's, it's shaved pretty close to the bone, to be honest. So instead, I, I'm going to shave my beard, which I've been growing for like pretty much the whole year so far. So if you want to donate to a great cause, you know, even if it's a pound or two, you know, it doesn't it doesn't matter. There's no minimum amount. Just donate what you can. But it's going to make a big difference. It's, you know, if everyone did it, it'd make a big difference. We could raise quite a bit of money for a really good cause. And uh, and I'll shave my beard, you know, just as some sort of motivation. And, you know, I, th I think anyone, everyone can donate to that. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't get what, when people say, oh, I can't afford to do that. Because everyone can sacrifice one beer, you know, have one less beer on one night out. Or they can have one less takeaway or something like that. Obviously, if there's anyone young watching, you get your parents to donate. You know, you can't, obviously, because you haven't got any money of your own really but you know let's uh, let's get as many donations in as we can and that way you know we can make a real difference and uh, yeah I'll be doing that on the 29th of this month so there's plenty of time to get your donations in so no excuses about waiting for payday or anything like that either and you can't wait for payday to donate me a pound anyway um, so yeah that's that now in terms of what's going on on the channel i mentioned earlier that you know it's been a little while there's been a bit of a hiatus i want to let you know i'll reinforce what the routine is for this channel now that i'm back uh, every sunday every sunday hopefully there's going to be 
a Hitman video. That's that's the ideal that scenario. Is every Sunday I want to be uploading a new hit level of Hitman. Uh, every Saturday, just as yesterday, on PS4 Saturdays, which looks better written down than it sounds and fits better. Then it's going to be GTA 5 on the PS4. Every Wednesday I'm going to be resuming my Saints Row 4 series, which was the most recent series I uploaded to before going on my, my hiatus. Um, so that's that, there's a video fairly recently from that, but I'll be back on that weekly as well. And on Fridays, uh, me and my friends like to mess about on some games online, and uh, then I try and pick out some funny moments and, and put them into videos. And it's always been GTA so far. Uh, online, however, we might be branching out into a few different games as well. As well as that, there are a couple of new series coming to the channel. There's a new, a brand new series on my channel, anyway, that's starting tomorrow. So make sure you check back tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you see all this stuff. But yeah, make sure you uh, you check back tomorrow because. That's when there's a new series, and there's going to be a new series starting on Thursday as well, so make sure to check that out. Now, I am just going to be doing something a little bit different here, so I will talk to you about what I'm doing for a second. We're going to climb through this window, and what we're going to do now is shimmy along the outside of the hotel. And on this side, you can go either way, left or right, to do this bit, but as we climbed out on the left, I've decided to go left. So on this one, you have to duck underneath those fans, come over to this window... And then we climb through, and you want to duck down just for safety. There we go. And then on the side there is a key card. I'm not sure why I disturbed those boxes when the card was there, but never mind. And then we're going to go and climb back out like that. Lovely. So now we have a key card, which we haven't had. So that's the item that we needed to collect that we haven't already got on this level. So we're going to shimmy back along this way. And back up as soon as we can. There we go. Save AJ 47s arms from getting too tired. Have a quick look through the window. As soon as he turns on that guard, we can go through. Sorted. We now have a key card. And the key card operates the door next to the window that we go through for the p first part of the inside job challenge, if you remember that, which is that window there. There's the key card for the door. However, that guard's still not going to appreciate it, so I'm going to quickly distract him with the radio and go through that door. Just like we distracted him with the radio and went through his... Oh, we're going to punch the radio, apparently. No. <laughs> Use the radio. Just like we distracted him when we wanted to go through the window. So he's going to uh, go and check out what happened with the radio. And I'm going to swipe this and walk through... And out of sight because we're not allowed through here. And now that there, that window there that you can see, is the window we come through. And these are the usual stairs we go up. So again, I'm going to go back to talk about something else now because you've seen this bit before, this bit of the level. So, where was I? Oh, I talked about my new series. Now, something that not everyone knows, I'm sure, on my channel, is if you want to see my videos nice and early... Uh, there's a way you can do that because I upload or I uh, publicize I should say my publish that's the word I publish my videos around about 8 o'clock in the evening GMT or as is the case at the moment British summertime BST uh, if you want to see the videos up to 12 hours early though what you need to do is you need to go and like my Facebook page because I share the links on my Facebook page at like 8 a.m. and 12 noon and 4 p.m. So, you know, go and check that out. Go and give that a like because uh, then you get to see my videos early. And that's assuming the video is uploaded early enough to do that. You know, I'm not on the last minute uploading it. Then that's every video that I do. So, again, go and look in the description. Don't forget to go click on the Brave the Shave link first and go and donate to that. But after you've done that, click on the Facebook link and um, and click like on the Facebook page and then uh, you can get early access to videos so that's a, a little bonus for people that like my Facebook page so make sure you do that if you've done that um, and you're actually watching this video early then leave a comment just let me know that you've already done it and that's that's how you're seeing this video at this time that'd be fantastic I'd love to know if anyone's taken advantage of that system yet if not then you know you should start doing 
Anyway, without further ado, we're at the end of the level now, so we're finally going to climb into here and just have a peek Her here. Her name is Victoria, and she's worth a lot of fucking money. Ah, she's some kind of enhanced wonder child or something. Point is, we go in, we grab her, we hang on to her until they give us the ransom. She sounds like something you came up with in one of your labs. Oh, who the fuck asked for your opinion anyway? You're a fucking asshole, you know that? You know, your job is to shut up, do what I say, and look good. <laughs> and you do look good. Sweet talker. Well, isn't he just a charmer? Anyway, we continue crawling, and then we basically fade to black, and we finish the level. So, we unlocked Instinctive Shot 1, which allows us to use less instinct when we're use, doing point shooting. If you remember at the end of um, Episode 1, the tutorial level, we did that thing where we jumped out and we tagged our targets and then we kind of did like a super fast shooting thing where we took down four guys. That's point shooting, um, so we can use less of our instinct on that, which means we can tag more people, hopefully. We've also got Pain Suppression 1, which improves damage recovery time, which is also very nice. Now, uh, ignore these stats because this was halfway through after a not exactly fluid run. Let's have a look at a better example. So as you can see, objective complete in the downstairs bit, no casualties, no nothing, no pacifications. Same on the upper floors. No, nothing. This is about as good a score as you can get. You might do it a little bit quicker, get a slightly higher score, something like that. But that's basically what you're aiming for, and the rating you get is specialist. Now, if we tick over the page, you'll see 36 of 36. We've got both types of revolver, the shotgun, uh, the janitor disguise there that we uh, got the hall pass challenge in. We've got the chameleon challenge, which is for collecting the janitor, hope goon, and electrician disguises there. They're not loading up for some reason, but just... Bear with me on that, I'm not sure why that is. Uh, the Evidence Collector, obviously there's the one downstairs, the one upstairs. Infiltrator is just for not being seen all the way through. So we did that a few times, to be honest, on a few different uh, runs through. Suit only, we did on that last run through where we didn't change our clothes. Let's scroll across. Don't Disturb, we did on the last run through as well for not touching anyone. Hall Pass was for not being seen, dressed as the janitor, I've already mentioned that one. Fire extinguisher and iron, they were downstairs. Housekeeping, that was the one where we were killing people, killing um, guards and not being seen and disposing of the bodies, throwing people out of windows and all that good stuff, all that fun stuff. An evening in paradise, that was for finding the movie reel and then playing it. I really don't know why these aren't loading, guys, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, the gasoline can was uh, on the top floor uh, that we found while we were doing the housekeeping challenge. Uh, the knife, where was the knife? The knife was with the measuring tape, wasn't it? Which is on the far right. There's the movie reel that we needed to find for the An Evening in Paradise challenge. The man from South Dakota one is just for completing the level. That's what that one is. Um, inside job was for doing all the shimmying around on the outside of the hotel, ridiculously high up. The electrician part one and two was for killing people with the screwdriver, if you remember, dressed as the electrician. We picked up the plunger in the toilets. Uh, the radio was uh, a means of distraction on the seventh floor. The scissors were in the movie room where you've got the Evening in Paradise challenge. Screwdriver, everyone remembers the screwdriver, surely. You've got both bits of evidence, although I think it only counts as one. Got a statue bust from in the uh, old lady's room. A vase was uh, where we got the first piece of evidence. The key card was when we shimmed along the outside and sneaked into that guy's room and took it on the last run through in our suit. The bottle, there's bottles everywhere, but we, we got one. The brick was outside, if you remember, in that yard where we killed the third guy for the electrician part two challenge. And the wrench we used to distract the guard in the cellar several times. So there you have it. That's the whole mission. That is everything completed on Terminus. So if you enjoyed and you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe if you like the sound of some of the other series that I'm doing. Uh, coming up, or continuing I should say, then 
subscribe so you don't miss any of it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please click that like button. I, I do appreciate the feedback. I like to know how popular the videos are. And uh, leave a comment. Let's get the interactivity going on this channel. Leave a comment, your favourite bit or something that made you laugh or something you didn't know if you if you play this game. Or just just start a conversation, you know. Let's just let's just do something. Let's get it interactive. And if you know anyone who might enjoy this video, please do share it with them. Or just feel free to share it on your Twitter, your Facebook, is you know, any social media. I really appreciate stuff like that. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Oh, no, don't forget to donate to my Brave the Shave, which you'll find in the, in the um, description below. And don't forget to like my Facebook page in the description as well. But mostly, donate to that Brave the Shave, it's for a really good cause. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I will see you next time. <laughs>